Hi, it's Wynne and welcome to the first Art Diary video. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Here I'm busy working on my last artwork of 2022, The Swan Lady. I created this piece over the Christmas and New Year period. I wanted to end the year on a elegant, sort of feminine artwork or something that encapsulates that essence and I think I did so. Um, I felt inspired to make this piece because I had been surrounded by a lot of water and in the last few months of 2022 I had drawn a lot of birds so that's how this idea came to be. I find the process behind making lino prints to be very relaxing and seeing the whole artwork carved into the block feels incredibly rewarding. It can get a little messy particularly if you are cutting out fine pieces from the block but cleanup is quick and easy, making this um, a medium that's good to experiment with, I think. The key is just to cut away from yourself, that way you don't risk bleeding out over your artwork. <laughs> Here I begin to carve out some of the finer details with a thinner tool. I would like to do some research into finer tools I could use in this process as um, the tools I have only came in a pack of three. A very wide tool is sort of it's like a U shape. The current one I'm using at this point in the video is the finest one. It's like a V shape. And they all make different levels of incisions. Anyway, I, I would like to see what else is out there because I'm sure you can get some finer pieces that could help a lot when we're doing more detailed work. Although I am proud of how finely I was able to cut the block, only a bad sportsman blames their gear and yeah, definitely not gonna blame the gear. <laughs> Thank you. 
thought that this section was a little challenging as I didn't want to carve out too much negative space. I wanted to cut just enough so that the woman's dress doesn't blend into the birds she's carrying. Like the short and snappy version of this content, I regularly post art reels on my Instagram page at WinBV. If that is something that interests you, um, your support would really mean the world to me. So yeah, check that out if you would like. Um, likewise, if you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to subscribe. I'll try and upload a video at least once a month. I was admittedly a little impatient to print this and I think that is reflected in the first print you will see shortly. I did later go in and refine the lino block with some minor touch-ups, however I have yet to print it again as I would need to custom cut some paper. As you will also see shortly, I um, put some paper on top of the print and it didn't fit so <laughs> just small little... Um, I wouldn't guess obstacles or I suppose they're obstacles just small little things that make the art process a bit more mm, yes <laughs> a bit more frustrating a bit more annoying Gouache is a medium I have seen on the internet for a long time and have always been sort of fascinated by. I really loved watching, or I still love watching, people paint with gouache, whether it's speed paints or like paint with me videos, I really enjoy them. And I always found myself thinking, well, you know, I think I have a little knack for painting, but it's not really a skill I've fully developed yet. So whenever I see these videos, I'm like, wow, you know, I should paint more, I should really paint, I should do this, I should do this, blah, 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 blah. 
Anyway, so I have been wanting to try out gouache for essentially years, but I never really got around to it until now. Um, I have been super fortunate to have been gifted this large set of Himi gouache paint, and um, it's really, really cool. I, I like how it's in its own little case, and I love all the colors, and I think with a set this big, the necessity for color mixing is really not there. You don't really need to mix colors, but um, I will experiment with that anyway. But I thought it would be fun just to make a time lapse of me unboxing it. It um, was a little tedious to open some of the little um, cubes of paint because for some of them, the foil that was covering them was super strong. It like was stuck on with a lot of glue. And then others came off very easily. I'm not sure why, but... Yeah, that was just my experience. I did color swatch um, the paints, which is actually something I don't enjoy doing. I find color swatching to be incredibly boring, but it is beneficial, so I did it anyway. Not everything is fun. <laughs> Doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. But I, um, I didn't include that in this video because I thought it would make this video incredibly long. I also did it towards mid-January, so I will include some footage of me colour swatching and then drawing on top of the colour swatches to make it more interesting, and you can see those in the mid-January art diaries that will be coming up to YouTube in the distant, or in the near future, we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold on.